So with the inside edge and the outside edge, those are the main two points you want to use when climbing on the holds. But on the marker board over there, there's a third zone right here that goes across the main knuckles on your toes. I labeled that one as the smear zone. It starts at the ball of your foot all the way to the base of your pinky toe. When you're trying to smear or use friction climbing, you try and put as much pressure as possible on that point. Of course my phone rings. Um, so with that, sometimes you'll need to get your feet a little bit higher up on the wall and drop your heels down. A lot of times people will try to go like this and they'll drop their heels down here, but you don't get enough outward or inward pressure to counteract the sliding force on it. The grippier the wall, the better you can do, but the point is you want to have as much pressure as you can on that smearing edge on the shoe. And if you do it right, you can fairly easily climb up almost anything you want. And then for crack climbing, crack climbing is different than normal sport climbing in the sense that the main object of it is to figure out how to get whatever body part stuck in it to the point that you won't slide out. So this one's almost more like a plate because you can reach around and grab the back. So it's not very good for doing hand jams. But for foot climbing, always keep your big toe up. A lot of people try and go like this. That's only really good if you're trying to reach way out to the side. So big toe up, stick your foot in sideways, lift your heel up a little bit so it's not as hard like painful on your ankle, and jam it in. The reason why you lift your heel up is because the front of your shoe is wedge shaped. If you keep your heel flat, the wedge will heel down, the wedge will slide out. If you heel up, as you slide in, it'll get wider and it'll jam. So with that, press, point, you can climb with fairly good confidence. It's just, it's really painful, especially in this type of shoe. So a lot of crack is mostly confidence and pain tolerance.